ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. And his opponent across the way. His professional record consists of 43 wins with 28 knockouts and 10 defeats. Fighting out of Atlanta, Evander, the Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Well played, straight right hand. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Not precise at all by Mike Tyson. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. He missed with that headshot. Jab with the straight, classic combination. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Halfway through this round. Evander Holyfield's tagged. Holyfield with a big uppercut. Comes across with a hook up top. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Not an accurate hook at all. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. That was not well targeted by Evander Holyfield. One, two jabs. To the head he goes with a left hand. Tyson's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. by an uppercut. Hits him in the mug with the right. Wow, look at that. Training shots. And now he scores well with a straight right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Tyson's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Move. Halfway through round number two. Accurate hook by Mike Tyson. And Tyson with a block punch. Not able to land the headshot. A little head knocking with that right hand. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. He scored well after being hit himself. Evander Holyfield's well off the mark that time. Protecting his head well with his guard. Back to the body. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. Combo lands to the head. Took 
a shot. Now he gives a left. And this round comes to an end. What started as mild swelling has now turned into this. Holyfield's eye is closed. He's a one-eyed fighter right now. And that's the fault of his corner. They needed to get that end swell, that cold piece of metal on that eye a couple rounds ago. They did not. And now, as you said, they have a Cyclops, a one-eyed fighter. Doubling up the jab by Evander Holyfield. And a big right hand comes crashing home from Tyson. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Mike Tyson is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Holyfield's combination punching is working well here. Tyson's showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Committing to the head work. You see him go there again. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Three minutes gone by in this round. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Tyson's in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Mike Tyson's left landing well. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Holy Fields not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Good work defensively by Mike Tyson. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Yeah. Well off the mark by Evander Holyfield. Mike with a big uppercut. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Top notch jab by Evander Holyfield. Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. A fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in there. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. He's jumping all over him now. Mike Tyson's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Super two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. 
Tyson's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Piercing jab. Huge uppercut by Evander. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. And now he's targeting upstairs. Back to the body. You can see he's trying to score up top, but nice. off the mark there. signifying the end of the round. In between rounds here, Holyfield's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is gonna sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what, this is a tough hey, business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Coming, Who's Let's the go, good one? One, two, one, two, that's it. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Goes up top with a right hand. Holyfield's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in the rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming. And he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Back and forth exchange. Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. A Vander Holyfield with the big uppercut. Cannot focus it. Mike Tyson is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Evander Holyfield. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you gotta figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Holyfield's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. Keep moving around the ring. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Mike Tyson's overflowing with aggression, and that brawling style has got him in control of these middle rounds. Yeah, he's gotten his opponent right where he wants. He's gotten his opponent confused, frustrating. He's fighting the wrong fight. He's fighting his fight. Finish with the hook. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Watch that. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Now 
he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Tyson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. All right, all right. As we begin round number eight, Teddy's scorecard grades it out all A's for him with that knife-like approach to his attack. You can see that he's done some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, and that jab has been like a battering ram. I mean, that to me, that's done most of that swelling, caused most of that swelling in their face. A good block by Mike Tyson. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Mike Tyson. Unable to score with the hook. A Vander Holyfield's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Unable to survive that shot. He's on the floor. He gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. That is Boxing 101. A nice, keep brisk keep combination keep on, by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going up there. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Your winner, Mark.